I always love it when there's competition because that drives innovation, it drives costs down, and it's good for the patients. And today I have Medtronic and Peyton from Medtronic. We are going to talk about what's new with their Interstem product because I know some of you have talked about your experience and what that has been and there has been some really nice changes with Medtronic and I want you to, all, all to hear about it. I'm at the uh, Alabama Urologic Network meeting and they, at their inaugural meeting. They haven't had one for over a decade so I'm super pleased to have you here. Thank you so much for sponsoring by the way. Perfect, thank you. Yes, I'm a local representative um, here in Alabama and there's lots of changes um, that have, have broken ground and some that you guys are probably very familiar with, but there's, I'll start with device changes and then kind of move to the um, patient support changes yeah. that have happened. Um, both very much needed and long time coming, you know, I think. Yeah, what are some of the new changes with, uh, with the Interstem? With the device itself, all of our systems now, we've got two different ones. Both of our systems are MRI compatible up to 3T, which has been a huge barrier in the past. Um, even despite impedance issues, the patient is still eligible for an MRI, unlike our competitor, which has been a huge perk. Um, battery life has also been extended. So for our rechargeable system, we have a 15-year battery um, that's even smaller than our competitors, which has been very nice, like a little bigger maybe than an Orbit stick of gum. And then our rechargeable device is now a 10 to 15 year battery life, which is um, about doubled from what it was in the past. Wonderful. So less replacements, less surgeries for the patient. Um, so we're excited about those specific device changes. Any, any changes to the actual implantation of the device or programming or anything like that? No. I will say as far as what the patient sees, there is a huge difference in our patient remote. Um, we have a remote that looks like a smartphone now. Um, it's a lot more intuitive. Most patients have a smartphone, so it's a little bit you know, more intuitive to actually use. Our programming has been standardized and all of those programs they have access to. So we can have up to 11, but there's seven standard programs that the patient immediately has access to after implant. So that makes that um, patient um, troubleshooting a lot easier post-implant. We have Zoom capabilities also, with it being a smartphone. Um, there We can Zoom in when they call if they need help troubleshooting how to change the program and so forth which has been a, a huge addition to, to the programming aspect. And it sounds like there have been some changes to the way the support is delivered. Is that correct? Yes. So, so patient services, like I said, Zoom has been a huge issue, uh, uh, improvement rather. And then um, beyond that, we have a, a My Journey app that is individualized to the patient's um, symptoms. So, you know, it's not going to be like a standard one-size-fits-all um, support approach kind of that we've had before but the app is personalized um, the patient's able to go back and look at what their baseline symptoms were and get an exact percentage based on what they're inputting and then if they've got questions too beyond that there's a um, common answer and question section that they can have immediate access to as well as patient facing videos um, that's online so it can direct them to our website and the resources that are there and then um, know what numbers to call if they still have questions beyond that. Sounds like there have been device improvements and also the support to the patient has improved. So a lot of the audience is, are running uh, urology practices. How, what, has, what changes have been made to better support urology practice so that we can support the patients? So the, um, the My Journey app that I was discussing, when a patient enters their baseline information, we follow their trial, of course, closely, and in the past, we've stuck with paper diaries. Um, but insurance um, and other things are also requiring proof of their improvement more than ever right mm -hmm. now. And so that is actually a, a digital way that we can transfer that improvement information to the practice via PDF, so that's an easy upload into the EMRs which is huge. Um, that's been a big advantage rather than having to keep track of paper diaries or get back in touch with your rep even, even though you know we have access, the physician also has access to the patient information that's inputted into the My Journey app. So it sounds like the outcomes are being measured much more easily by the patient instead of having to 
run paper diaries because who has pen and paper, right? We all have our smartphones all the time, everywhere, and uh, unabashedly in the bathroom as well. So <laughs> for the, it's great for the patients to be able to keep track of things that way. Any other changes, any updates as far as support by your team to the urology practices? Um, no, I would just say there's a continued focus um, from the field perspective um, to really make sure that we're in the accounts, um, you know, finding out what your true needs are um, and just being present. So. What about within the organization? What changes have been made within Medtronic mm -hmm. or within the larger entity to support InterSTEM? Mm -hmm. So um, prior, InterSTEM or pelvic, our pelvic, pelvic Health Division was a, a smaller portion of an operating unit. And because of the growth um, really that's happened within the division, we are now our own operating unit. So um, we have our own source of funding ultimately um, to help drive more innovation quicker than what we've seen before. Wonderful, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you. So there you heard it. New division within Medtronic to better support your inner stem patients, overactive bladder, et cetera, and improve the application and also improvement in the actual device itself. Uh, I guess if they have any questions, they can always go to innerstem.com, is that correct? Yep. All right. As always, if I have any financial relationship with any of these companies, I will disclose that. I have no financial relationship with Medtronic or any other company. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. I thank you for the privilege of your time.